So at this point, I will demonstrate the different tools and functionality of Echo Guide. And as you can see, the main screen here is fairly intuitive. The calculators, algorithms, and tools are all grouped based on cardiac structure. And then uh, you can favorite different items, which will create a separate list. At the bottom, you have a home, a home uh, icon, which will take you to the screen at any point, as well as a settings icon and a search icon, which you can search for calculators. This tool contains different uh, tables, guideline references, calculators, and algorithms. So I will demonstrate some of these, perhaps going from simpler to more complex. If all you need is a table to uh, reference normal values and you want to quickly access it, let's say I need to recall the right ventricle dimensions, you will uh, click here and anything that is a reference table is indicated with this icon and it'll pull the normal values and everything has a guideline reference at the bottom. So this, for example, is the chamber quantification guideline from 2015. I can go back to the home section, uh, section by putting this button or just uh, press the back arrow. There are a little more complex calculators. For example, if I want to uh, look at LV volumes and ejection fractions, so notice a calculator icon, and I can enter some parameters such as the body surface area, the gender, and diastolic volume, and end systolic volume, and it will give me the ejection fraction, the index volumes, and whether these are normal or abnormal, and the degree of abnormality based on gender-specific parameters outlined in the guidelines reference here. So there are many calculators like this throughout the uh, guideline. One that is uh, fairly uh, innovative is uh, the aorta, because as you may know, there are different ways of grading aorta uh, dilatation. So we have incorporated all of the ASC guideline endorsed methods, including the uh, nomograms based on age group the uh, indexed values for multiple uh, different segments of the aorta, as well as a z-score calculator based on the um, multimodality imaging for the aorta guidelines. So here, for example, if I enter the age, noting that this is not for pediatric patients, this is for individuals over the age of 15, and I enter the aortic root, it will provide me the lower upper limit of normal, whether this is outside of the normal range, and also a z-score. So really interesting tools uh, that uh, different users can use based on what they prefer in their lab. And probably one of the most exciting uh, tools are the algorithms, which are uh, can be found throughout the guidelines. So let me demonstrate one of them, mitral regurgitation, for example, and notice a different icon for an algorithm here. So the user will be asked to enter the parameters that are outlined in the multi-parametric approach for grading MR in the mitral regurgitation, uh, valve regurgitation guidelines. So let me enter a few parameters that uh, let's say are abnormal. And see, notice I've, I've reached four parameters for severe MR. What if I... Uh, enter parameters that do not meet these criteria, the guideline will load the different methods that we can use for this. So let me click on the PISA method that immediately takes me to the PISA calculator. So I can enter some parameters. And notice this method. If, for example, I enter five because I'm thinking meters per second instead of centimeters per second, and it's something that's completely outside of what the uh, what the calculator is expecting, there are some guardrails in place that will warn the user in case there is a typo or uh, any such error. So I have, after I enter my parameters, I can calculate, and it takes us back to the algorithm where it provides quantitative data, EROA and regression volume, and the grading. In this case, based on these two, there's a discrepancy and then the user will need to uh, make a clinical decision based on other parameters. So this was just a quick overview of the app. There are many, many more tools that you can see